In this video you'll find out if you can make a God of War axe mechanic in 2D, what makes this mechanic so fun, and how you can get this platformer course for free. My name is Alex, I'm making games and I'm posting videos about it. Subscribe if you didn't and let's begin. The idea of making a mechanic from God of War in 2D came out of nowhere. First I found this awesome game called Moonscars, which is basically a Dark Souls in 2D. I really enjoy how it looks and how it feels. I did like the player controller so much I was craving for making something similar. And second, someone one day just decided to post a comment. Combine it with my inspiration from the Moonscars, we get a brand new video. As I promised, I'm giving away keys for my latest course. If you want to be a next winner, just post any comments under this video and I'll choose a couple of them. That's enough, let's cut to the chase now. First what I need is some kind of a warrior character. I doubt I can find Kratos in 2D with proper animations, but I can go to itch.io and look for something suitable. Look, this girl has a sword spinning animation, and that's perfect. I'll drag her to Unity, and I think I can save me some time by copying player controller from my latest course. I'm pretty satisfied with how that feels. Now that she can move, I want suitable environment, because this looks ugly. I'll go to itch.io again and look for something fantasy-ish. Oh yeah, Dark Forest is just good enough. I won't bother myself with setting parallax, it's not main goal now. But also, I have this itchy feeling inside that's saying make something like Moonscars. And this character has attack animations, so why don't we use it? If you analyze other games for a bit, you can see that in Moonscars, Blade Assault or Dead Cells, character does a little step when he attacks. I tried, and it really gives a feeling of a feedback. Also, in Moonscars, Dead Cells or Blade Assault, they can dash to avoid the danger. So, I did the same with a ghost effect, of course. Now the main point of this video, axe mechanic. Let's analyze it and break it to parts. You can throw the axe, it stacks to the objects and it comes back. I don't have an axe, but I have a sword and I'll prepare it first by wiping character and only leaving spinning animation. Now I'll try to launch the sword in the direction of the mouse and it's a bit of a headache, but looks like somewhat result. Add in spinning animation from before and it looks better. It doesn't stick to the surface, but I'll leave that for later because I want to prepare animation for throw. This asset doesn't have one, but I can combine sprites from the attack and wipe sword from there. Now character has a name in animation and sword sticks to the wall. Perfect. Now I need to make it go back and I want that catch effect. No, I mean the one that makes it powerful. I'm sure it will give it a nice feeling. How can I get that animation? Again, I can just play attack animation in reverse. And to make a feeling of a heavy sword, I'm gonna add a bit of velocity to the character when she catches it. We can make it even better by adding a screen shake. This is nice, and I guess it's never too much of a polish, so particles will make it only better. I promised you info on why this mechanic feels so good, and before I jump to conclusion, please like this video if you think it's good enough, really helps to grow the channel. Now, what's so fun about throwing the axe? Because I was making it step by step, I could notice exactly when it became fun. Feeling of a control of the weapon when you're getting it back, I guess that's what makes it feel so nice. You are under control of the axe or sword, whatever. You feel it, you decide when to send it away and when to get it back. Also, it makes it fun because something is happening on the axe's return, like impact is there and you decide when to throw it again or when to return it back. It's like a bit of a sandbox if you're allowed to say that. You always wonder of the result if you throw it to the wall or the enemy, what's gonna happen. And if you develop any game of this kind, try to fit this mechanic, I'm sure it will be a nice touch. By the way, I have a question for you. I guess with the set of movement we have here, we can make some sort of game and already have some ideas. What do you think? Should I finish it as a complete game or just leave it like that? Let me know what you think about the idea or this experiment in the comments below. Thank you for watching video till this moment. Check out the course if you want to make your own video game, join the community and remember, we don't play games, we make them.